NASA's Space Journeys by Grant Hull. Have you ever wondered if we could live on Mars? Well, the first step in answering that question was taken this summer by the Mars Curiosity rover. Introduction. What is the purpose of the MSO Curiosity and other Mars probes such as the Opportunity, Spirit, and Phoenix? NASA and other space organizations have been sending robots and probes to Mars mainly to answer one question. Can Mars sustain life? The landing of Curiosity occurred on August 6, 2012 at 1.25 a.m. People from all across the United States watched it on television that night. In Times Square, people viewed the event on the giant screen that usually displays ads, while the Chicago Adler Planetarium even held a pajama party so people could watch the landing live on TV. Unlike other robots, Curiosity was lowered from the sky to the ground with wire cables, which was an extra $2.5 billion from its housing, while well, it was supported from the sky by retro rockets. Other rockets landed on the surface with landing gear, often resulting in a crash, such as USSR's probes, such as Mars 2, Mars 6, and Phobos 1. Today, Mars is a dry planet, but it wasn't always like this. Mars had a lot of evidence that shows that it once had water on its surface. For example, MERA spirit and MERB opportunity have both found minerals that only form in water, such as salt, gypsum, and calcium sulfate. The Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter found seasonal streaks forming and disappearing, which is a sign of deep underground water deposits of existing water in the Martian spring and, and freeze and contract during the winter. Conclusion some of the questions that I pondered, I will say right now. Could NASA build a rover to find seashells on Olympus Mons, like we did on Mount Everest? Was Mars's surface 100% water, or were there occasional rivers, lakes, and oceans? If there was water on Mars in the past, then was there also life? Thank you for watching!